Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about something that I think is really important and maybe uh, under talked about with, with tennis and that's talking about equipment. So uh, since it's winter break, I've had some more time to hit off the wall, get some practice in. And I've had my current rackets for uh, quite a few years now. So I think it's time to upgrade, get a newer racket, kind of feel out the new technology. So I just want to talk about a couple things that I would look for when you're demoing rackets. Um, so the first thing uh, is to make sure that you demo in a place that's really easy and accessible for you. So hitting on a wall is a great place. Uh, using a ball machine if you have a court by you that has a ball machine, hitting with a partner. I know now with you know household and kind of quarantine, what people are doing can be a little bit difficult. Um, but finding rackets, uh, I'm using Tennis Warehouse, which you can demo up to three rackets for uh, a week. So it's only the cost of shipping. So to get it from Atlanta to my house in South Florida, it was $15, which is a great deal for a week to test out three rackets. Um, so that's a that's a, a tip I would use and a, and a way to get through, uh, get some rackets to, to get it hit the courts with. Um, so the first thing I would look with, uh, look for is to basically find rackets that are very similar to what you're already using. Um, if you're not ne necessarily playing or looking for something that's maybe a more beginner intermediate racket, companies that make professional style rackets make those um, as well. Those would be like at the bottom of an online page um, and I'd be happy to you know, talk that over with anybody if they're interested with that. Um, so basically the racket I currently use is a 97 square inch head. Um, it's about a middle weight, probably 11.3 ounces strong. So either everything on like a Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Express site will be in ounces or grams. So um, things will generally be like 315 gram strong, 11 ounces strong. These are all just kind of ways that manufacturers communicate with, another, with one another to uh, basically um, standardize everything that they do and communicate different styles of rackets. Usually there's a line of rackets that each company has. For example, Wilson has four different uh, intermediate to advanced racket lines and which is within each of those lines there's a version that has a 16 by 19 string pattern which would allow for more power. I use an 18 by 20 string pattern um, which allows for more control. The first number refers to how many mains there are and main strings there are in the racket and the second number refers to how many crosses there are. Um, so basically you're just trying to keep everything consistent. You don't really want to be demoing rackets that are too outside of your comfort zone for something that you've been playing with. So I, like I said, play with a 97 square inch racket head. I wouldn't really want to go to something that's 95 it's probably a little bit better than going to something that's 100 because that's just going to be outside my wheelhouse going from 97 with 1820 to 100 with 1619 would be too much of a change so basically i'm ordering rackets that are very similar to what i already have in my current racket so the three rackets that i've been demoing number one uh this is the battle up pure strike third generation 18 by 20. Uh, this is the racket of current uh us open champion dominic team um i like this racket i felt that it was very stiff that's another thing to look at when you're demoing rackets is stiffness. Um, all of the three rackets I'm about to show, including this one, have the same uh, swing weight, or rather the weight that they're strung at is the same, um, but the way that the weight is distributed throughout the racket makes the swing weight a little bit different. So this racket is actually pre pretty evenly distributed as far as where its weight is. Um, I felt that this was a very stiff racket. I felt like there was control over when I hit it and I could feel um, the grip of the strings over the ball, but I didn't really necessarily feel that uh, it was as comfortable in my arm. It felt very stiff. That is a common criticism with Babylon rackets is sometimes they, people say that they're made cheaply. Um, I did play it with a Babylon racket in the past, which was a, a, when this was back known as the Pure Storm. And it was the previous iteration of the line. Um, overall, it's a good racket. It has pretty good plow through and feeling the swing, but it didn't really feel very comfortable. Um, it felt pretty solid and almost too solid and a little bit rigid to play with in the, in the handle. Um, that would be my main kind of takeaway with this racket. The second similar racket, uh, this is a Wilson Blade, seventh generation. They've been making blades for a while now. Um, this is again the 18 by 20 string pattern. It comes in the 16 by 19 as well. Um, pros use both this and that. This is used by, this 1820 is used by Stefano Tsitsipas, um, David Goffin, a bunch of other kind of top 10 players. This is a really favorite racket of um, teenagers to college age players, what a lot of tennis stores say. Um, this is probably honestly one of the most rack popular rackets on both the men's and women's tour. Um, it's just overall kind of solid frame. I found that um, it had really good like swing and plow through. I felt like it was easy to swing. It almost felt like it was a little too light, even though obviously they're all the same weights, strung in the same, the same way. It felt like the swing through was too light. I didn't really feel like I had enough control on the ball as I did with the Babla racket. Um, it's a good racket. I mean, it's basically a solid racket. Like I said, you know, this is kind of the standard for college age players on the college, you know, NCAA circuit type of thing. Um, overall good. It's pretty similar, I would say. 
what I currently have in my current racket. Um, but nothing to complain. Another thing to focus on when you're demoing rackets is to uh, make sure that you have the right grip size and the right strings. So um, I use a polyester string setup on the entire string bed and um, I ordered a, a four and three eighths grip size that basically refers to from this line on the bottom of their, your palm of your hand to the top of your uh, middle finger, um, how many inches. Make sure those things are you know, the same across all the rackets that you demo and that you order and make sure that the string bed's the same because you don't, you know, you want to be playing with something and demoing is what's as close to what you're used to and what you would intend to use uh, should you purchase a racket. So um, those strings are pretty much all the same, all that polyester set up in all three rackets. So again, this one kind of all right in the middle, I would say. This last racket, which is probably the racket that I'm ultimately going to go with, um, this is the Yonex D Corp Pro 97 HD 18 by 20. Uh, the names of these rackets keeps getting a little more ridiculous as they keep going on. The reason why this one is so long, the name, is because the 18 by 20 refers to the string pattern. The HD is kind of just saying the same thing. I mean, it's high density for the string bag because it's 18 by 20, um, and it's part of that V Core Pro 97 family. Uh, this specific version with 18 by 20 isn't used as any by any pros as far as I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Um, this is strung at 1320 grams, I believe, or maybe unstrung. Yeah, unstrung at 1320, 1320, 320. And the, uh, the heavier version, uh, 330, unstrung, is used by Stan Wawrinka, three-time um, Grand Slam champion. So uh, this is, to me, honestly, one of the best rackets I've ever played with. It really feels super maneuverable. I've always noticed watching pros play on tour, um, on TV, that Yonex rackets always seem very maneuverable, um, whether it's like slices or just around the court, they always seem like they're very head soft and very head light. Um, at first when I picked up this racket I noticed that the, the weight was distributed much differently than the other two. Um, the weight is definitely distributed in the handle and I felt like eh, this is not really so easy to maneuver but playing off the wall it definitely feels like this one is so easy to maneuver. Um, although it's the heaviest probably of the group by a good 10 grams on strong. Um, it just feels really maneuverable, great on all shots, great swing through on everything. Um, it really just kind of feels almost like you're just swinging a magic wand. It didn't really feel like there was that much effort into having to swing with my arm or worry about my wrist hurting. I noticed with the bow lot, it didn't really feel like it was uh, that great on my arm after playing for a little bit. So overall, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this. I think Yonex seems to do some cool things with this isometric head. If you notice, it's not really as round as the other ones. That's to kind of, I think, maximize the sweet spot in the middle. Um, again, same polyester setup. But I really like this, and I think this is what I'll probably ultimately go with. Um, so yeah, this, is, this has been a really cool experience. Demoing rackets I haven't done in a while with a serious consideration of buying anything new. Um, last time I did that was when I got my old ones, which was probably four to five years at this point. Um, so yeah, so feel free to take any of my tips. Um, use these kind of setups when you're thinking about demoing your own rackets. If you have a tennis shop in your area, it could be cheaper. They might let you loan them out for free. You just keep a credit card on record. Um, it's a really fun thing to do to kind of get out there and see what other technologies and sticks are on the market and uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions if you want to contact me at my new college email rory.renzi17 at ncf.edu and uh, yeah thanks so much